Hey guys, my name is Abhay Sharma and in this video I'm going to talk about what are the things I like about the fusion integration in DaVinci Resolve 15. If you are a one man show like me, uh, I do all of my stuff by myself and uh, this integration of fusion inside DaVinci Resolve makes a huge deal for me because now I don't have to go into fusion for small stuffs. I can do that thing right inside DaVinci Resolve which makes a huge deal if you're working with you know like edits uh, you want to apply some effect between uh, two clips you can just directly select that go into create a fusion clip go into fusion and do all of your stuff and it will be updated uh, instantly almost and uh, that's what I like about the fusion integration uh, let me tell you something honestly uh, I secretly had this wish for a very long time when I was working in edits whenever I work in edit um, that uh, I, d I don't have to go uh, for every small stuff into the fusion and then bring it back into DaVinci Resolve. I wanted that to be inside. I wanted fusion to be inside DaVinci Resolve for a lot of stuff. But uh, I had this wish for a very long time, and I and 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 now it's it's inside DaVinci Resolve, which is really good, and I am really really happy for that. The other thing is. Uh, if you work with Adobe Creative Cloud and let's say if you have opened the same kind of application at the same time Adobe Prelude, uh, Premiere, After Effects, uh, Audition and uh, Media Encoder all at the same time you, and you see how much memory they are taking in your system and you compare uh, it with the uh, uh, DaVinci Resolve okay right now it's taking uh, 1.4 gigs in my system I'm pretty sure that the DaVinci Resolve is taking much less memory. Let's say you're working with Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects together and uh, you, let's say you did something in After Effects and to see the update you go into uh, Premiere and you have to wait for a few seconds uh, because they are in they are communicating with a third I guess third program which is uh, which is what they call uh, dynamic link server and sometimes it's fast sometimes it's really really slow and depending on the complexity of the project uh, but if, if you uh, but if you compare it with the uh, DaVinci Resolve now you can see that I can uh, directly switch to fusion and do whatever I want in almost real time so for example let's uh, add a text object in here <coughs> and uh, let me sh I'm watching the media one right uh, media out one okay Let's add something, some text, and let's say I want uh, to change the color to black. I can go into the edit, and I can see where I want my keyframe. Uh, let's say I want it. Uh, I want to be uh, to start the animation from here. I can directly go into Fusion, and uh, I will put it down. I will set a keyframe, and go back to uh, edit, and let's say here go back to fusion and do this so this is something is really uh, amazing you know to do that uh, and you have uh, other applications as well color and fair light not applications but they are the features of DaVinci Resolve now so I think this is much more faster way to work with uh, if you compare with the um, with the Adobe Creative Cloud I think it's much more superior uh, to work inside DaVinci Resolve and I'm really happy for that next is uh, interface and I think interface is a really great improvement from the older version and, uh, and there are so many things in here uh, let's say if I select the text object I can see a lot of improvement in there you can see I don't have to go uh, to animate a property I don't have to go and right click and choose animate I can directly click on the keyframe and I can animate that I can reset that and the best of all I can drag inside the numeric field to change the values which is I think is really really great um, actually you do not need this slider thing you can do all the stuff with these three buttons also media pool effects template clips really makes it easy to work with multiple clips uh, media pool you can go in media pool and organize your uh, entire project let's say import a few image files I can add a bin I can say images and I can just draw a drag and drop in the images I go back to the fusion and I have the images and I can import that and work with that 
So I, I like the media poll. Uh, I think it's a much more organized way to do this. Uh, effects and libraries, uh, great. Not as great as the uh, uh, Fusion Spin, but uh, it, it works. Uh, clips, uh, right? Clips are really good. So what else? The next thing is uh, you can import your old Fusion files. So if you go into the files and then you can uh, import the Fusion composition. Uh, I'll just import that. Uh, loader tool is not compatible with the DaVinci Resolve. Uh, actually, it is. It is in now called media in and media out. So you have to do that. You have to deal with that. But at least you can import your uh, compositions right inside DaVinci Resolve. The next thing is VFX Connect clip. So if you go into the uh, edit page and let's do something in here. Uh, want to break point here. Uh, let's import one of the images. And let's say you do not want to work with the uh, Fusion tab in here and you want to work with the standalone version of the Fusion. You can still do that. You can just uh, just have to select the clip and right click and go into the uh, new Fusion clip. Uh, if you do that, it will open in the uh, Fusion uh, tab. But if you select the VFX clip, VFX connect clip, it is exactly the same thing as in the earlier versions uh, it is called it was called the fusion connect clip and you do that so you can use this if you do not want to work inside fusion uh, and davinci resolve uh, okay so uh, if you go into the fusion uh, and open the clips you can see i can work on individual things individual clips but i want to work let's say with two clips at the same time i have to select both and right click and choose new fusion clip it will op it, you can see that it becomes one it becomes a group and also you get a fusion clip one in the uh, media pool uh, if you go into the fusion uh, it will uh, actually my DaVinci Resolve crashes on this machine but you can see uh, it will come like this merged and you can work on that uh, it has crashed. It's it's in beta version, so I don't complain for that. It will be improved. I'm pretty sure. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.